okay all right so this design is coming from Antas designs on Pinterest. that is where it's an appreciation flyer from Antas designs Atas a t h a n apostrophe s flyer and that's design all right so we're going to create design i'm going to show you how to create it without further ado let's jump right into the video do it like this video share it with your friend and drop a comment and i'm going to show you how to do that okay so let's go the size we're going to be using for this particular tutorial is 1024 for the width and then 1280 for the height now after we've done that we want to quickly let me just quickly remove the background from this picture all right i just want to remove the background from this picture let's go to this website here let's click on this let's remove background from this picture right here cancel this guy all right so i just showed you the website i'm going to drop the link in the description so that i use that to remove background from your images and retain the quality you retain the sharpness of the picture everything is going to be intact all right now that is done we want to go back to back to pixel lab we want to let's remove this background right now let's put play this one here first um, i think i like white all right let's click here let's click here let's click here let's click here now let's drag this down here okay like this the background we're going to be using is this particular background so in this kind of design the first thing you want to do is to create your back your design first you get me now so you have to create your design first so let's send this onto the back so you have to create your design first before you do any other thing so what i'm trying to do right now is to create the design all right it's a creative design all right so it's a creative design so that's what i'm doing right now so i've just started i just began right there all right so the next thing you want to do right here is this one thing you need to know about graphic design it's not about making things look beautiful first it's about making them work all right so you need to understand that design is about communication with purpose not just oh this thing is looking very fine now i have come here and i've created this particular background and i've done this guys i'm going to come here i'm going to put in this particular thing i want to use now so um, i think that one can even come later so this, this one can come later so we have created this one now i'm going to come here we're going to get this one this one where the lady is actually smiling so we're going to remove the background from that one so let's come here let's start again let's upload the picture let's bring in this particular one here right get so bring in this particular one you click on remove back bg all right then you just see it works it just doesn't really take so much time sometimes if you have a good network all right so that's that okay so let's go head on to this place here all right let's get back here all right so in the original design the picture of the lady smiling is twice at this edge here the air is not even dead. I mean, it's, maybe I'm using the wrong image. I don't know, but let's just do something. Let's come here. Let's click here and let's remove all this orishi orishi. So we're just gonna remove them. Right. So just remove all this orishi orishi here. Okay. So design is not about. Oh, design is very fine, very beautiful. That's not the first purpose of design. The first purpose of design is does this work? right is it working that's the first thing so don't pay too much attention to how <coughs> sorry how beautiful the design is because it's good it's good beautiful design looks very great but then you want to make sure that you want to make sure that your design is not just great but it's functional it can be used all right so that's what i just did now you can see those blacks those blacks are still showing so i'm going to click again and i'm going to click, increase it to the highest i'm going to come here and i'm going to remove just take it from here again all right to remove all those dark color all those things i'm seeing there then you can come here no need just all right i see that now so just put it like that all right so that's that so the next thing we want to do right now is to get um i can see some stuff there that looks like um glass all right so let's let me show you something let's say this this image for example okay this is an image i'm going to copy it 
that part of our eyes i'm gonna i'm gonna crop it out so i'll just come here like this no not this one yeah okay i would increase this one to the end then i'll just crop the part out so let's say from let's say from okay from here and uh to here right then i'll just do this all right so i've got in that slice so i'll just do it like this right so i can remove all these ones okay so i've gotten it this slice like a slice of a pizza pizza all right using that now so <clears throat> in order for you to be able to control it very just reduce it all right like this so that you can move it to how anyhow you want to move it so i want it like this all right it's too much so just to do it like that i'll put it here all right so the other one is let's say the other part of the face or maybe another image so let's say this image for example and uh, we want to just come here and then we want to click on this and we want to take part of the face so let's say we took this one here we'll just say okay from from let's say from here we're taking here like this and then we'll do this like this all right so one of the things you need to learn when you are beginning your design journey is learn to work under somebody you call it volunteering or uh, internship or whatsoever you want to call it it's very important why because it helps you to get gain experience okay it helps you get experience on the job all right you have to get experience on the job so you want to look for somebody that needs your service and you want to offer your service to them are you getting me now you want to offer your service to them the reason why you need to do that is because by doing that you will be able to gain experience people these days don't care about experience they don't care about anything all they care about is the money when you are beginning you don't need so much money like when you are beginning your, your career your design career you don't need so much money all you need is good experience because when you get when you gain good experience you'll be able to learn and when you learn very well then you'll be able to you'll be able to do you be able to charge very well eventually right so i'm just trying to put in all the words together so that when i when we begin the other part of the design it's not going to be that we are doing it twice so um, there's a write up here that looks like a name this lady's name is a minister her name is esther so i'm going to put this word here esther i'm going to look for a script font a script font one that is very very okay let's try this no not that let's try this or this okay i like that one so let's drag it let's make it white all right like this video and share it with your friend then let's come here let's close up the space like this not so much no come back all right then let's try to bring it here and increase sorry let's increase it all right all right then 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 okay so that's cool let's just reduce the opacity just a little of it all right then let's bring this picture to the front all right and let's bring all these guys to the front to the front and this one to the front all right so we are beginning to get the structure of the design now there is something that we have here that says um a name actually so let me, let me just quickly get it okay gospel musical artist revealing jesus true sounds all right so that is what she does basically all right so i'm going to drag it here i'm going to drag this here okay so i'm going to come here i'm going to just enlighten this <laughs> i'm going to drag this a little all right i'm going to put it there okay all right all right all right all right all right, all right. okay so we're going to do something else so let's just leave this one like this just the way it is right now bring this one here no still reduce it here all right so what we're going to do now the first thing i'm going to do is to save this design as the first i'm going to save this particular this one that you're seeing right here i'm going to save it so i'll just come here and i'll save it everything just the way it is like this i'll save it as ultra for the purpose of this design that's why i'm using ultra i'm not printing it all right so the design will be saved i'm going to remove everything everything just everything so i'm going to remove everything now all right so i'm going to bring in that design we just saved now all right so i'm going to bring it here 
like this. Now this is how we just see. I'm going to change it. I'm going to copy it. Okay, let me just do it, do it so it doesn't confuse you. I'm going to change it to this. Right? The the saturation I want. So I want this. Alright. Alright, so after I have done that, the next thing I want to do is to save this particular one. Again, I will save it. I have just saved it, right? Cool. Then I will come back here like this. Now, I'm going to bring in the particular thumb paper effect that we're going to be using. Alright? So, I have this one here that looks like this. I'm going to drag it like this inside the design. So, I'm going to bring it at the position where I want it to be. So, somewhere here, right? That's the position where I want it to be. Then I'm going to come here and I will enable the color to be just one color, right? One color. So let's enable it to be, let's say, white color, for example. Then I'm going to remove the design. I'm going to now come here and make it transparent. So I'm going to save it right now as a transparent background. All right? Then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to bring in the design again. And this one, I'm going to delete it. Sorry, I'm going to delete it. I have deleted it right so don't like this video like it and share it i'm going to come here i'm going to click on this then i'm going to bring this guy first and i will just come here and drag it with the relative position the width okay let's go to the eyes just drag it to the end like this all right that is done then you come over here again i'm bringing that grayscale design that is the black and white you just saved okay you're not going to bring it like this sorry i'm sorry you, know, you just click on this one enable this one this one select it I've selected it once you select select this one okay once you select it you come to where you have texture all right and add this grayscale the black and white as the background image once you are done you want to go over to where you have the stroke and then you enable the stroke so you increase the stroke till you are satisfied all right so you increase that stroke till you are satisfied so i want it to be something like this all right so now you can continue with the design so to continue the design, just come here now and I'm just gonna put our name right here. Just the way it is written there. Esther Jonathan. That's a name. That's a minister's that's, that's name. So I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna use um Bibas. Come bless I don't to use this font too. Alright, so that's it. I'm gonna come here. I'm going to close off the space. Alright, and I'm going to centralize it the way it is. Alright, so put it there the little all right so what i have here you have to come here and do this so that it will faint inside the background they come here and copy this guy oh oh oh, oh, oh. i have deleted that one so let's get it again so we have the words then you're going to come here this image will come here we'll type our name esther all right we're going to use that script font or any script font you want that that will make for a good background all right all right, let's use that one since we already used it before so we're gonna drag it we're gonna drag it all right we're gonna still drag it all right then we're gonna fend it so reduce opacity that's what i mean all right so reduce opacity all right then next thing we want to do is to bring in this background this guy here all right so we're going to just increase it all right we just increase it like that okay so i don't i don't i don't really want it to be full there like this i'm going to remove some parts i'm going to do this and i'll remove this guy let me come again do it again and i'll remove this guy all right so that's what i have now all right then i copy it and i'll put and just rotate it So I'll put this one here. Then I'll do this. Put that guy there. So I'll bring this text to the front. So I have something like this. Right? So it's cool, right? So you see how we're able to achieve this using this basic design pattern. So let me bring this guy to the front. Let's increase it. Let's go close off the space. Like the video and share it with a friend. 
All right, so let's bring in this text. The new text that says, Gospel musical artist. Gospel musical artist revealing Jesus through sound. Then I'm going to re- reduce it. I'll put it there. Okay. Instead of dragging it like this, all right, it's not bad. So let's put it there like this. All right. So when you are done, as usual, you want to save your design. In the original design, this particular guy, this particular guy, is so big, and it fills almost all the designs. So I'm going to make it like this. Um, I'm going to make it like this. All right. And then I'm going to increase the opacity. All right. I don't want it covering that test. I don't want to cover the test. So you can decide to use something else actually. Well that is just it. That's just basically how the design was created. Or or can be created using Pixel App. <laughs> Let me not say what's created. That's how design can be created using Pixel App. Alright, it's basic. You can do that. So do it to like the video. And do it to share with your friend. And tell me where you are watching from. Like the video. Share it to a friend, tell them where you are watching from. My name is Diamanda and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.